This programme is for mature audiences only. The makers of this programme would like to begin by acknowledging and thanking the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, who are the traditional custodians of this land we are upon. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Hey Minnie! What? We're ready for you! I'm just finishing my shave and tack roller titles! Welcome to the first ever live from Stonewall, starring the incredible Minnie Cooper. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. I'm Steve Milne. There it is. <laughs> I'm Steve Milne, and for the next hour, you're watching an exclusive and never seen before Australia first, no, a world first donate purview primetime entertainment series streaming live from the iconic and very empty Stonewall Hotel here in Sydney. Our incredible in-house DJ tonight is one of the best in the business. Give it up for DJ Sveta. Woo! Give yourself a cheer. There we go. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> we have an exciting lineup of captive celebrities from all over the world. And right here in Australia, reality show goddess Charlotte Crosby will be joining us uh, from the UK. Now, we'll be chatting with international superstar and sex symbol himself. It's Hans. Plus, many will be comparing Barbies with ball gowns with the fabulous Rhonda Birchmore. Oh, yes. Uh, I'll be revealing Queer Screen's top films of the week. And we'll be some doing something very, very special indeed. And something we can all relate to right now. I'll be chatting mental health with one of Sydney's top queer counsellors. Our socially distanced production crew and guests will be keep, kept safe rather and sanitised thanks to Pam Demick, the mask cleaner. All good there, Pam? <laughs> okay. Uh, we've also got sexy barman Ivan who'll be keeping our studio guests hydrated with Hello. unlimited quarantinis. Hi, Ivan. Oh, he's got a full bar already. Lovely. Okay, this show is rammed with more gags than a German gay club. But jokes aside, look, it's been a bit of a shit time for everyone, okay? A lot of people have lost their jobs and pretty much the whole entertainment industry has gone down, which is why we decided to put on this show. Now, up until this point, everyone has been working for free. But by watching now, you have already donated to the production, meaning we can keep this going, keep our community co connected. But most importantly, we're going to give 10% of all donations to this week's chosen mental health charity, 2010.org.au. Okay, now, without further ado, here she is, ladies and gentlemen, and all of those in between, it's Minnie's big opening! Woo! Yes, I'm just a little girl with a cock. I come from the west side of the tracks. Yes, gentlemen is what I used to be called. Then I decided to hide my balls and I moved to the side of the tracks. I know you can't believe I have a cock. And here's some advice I'd like to share. First you start by spreading your legs apart Make sure that race is not blunt or sharp And make sure you don't nad right down there For some kid from the west side I really found my best side Now I'm a fabulous glam cock in a frock now that I know up and down the strip, I'm a Westy girl, no need to tip. Because I've got that spark. Because I've got that spark. Because I've got that spark. With a cock, with a cock, with a cock. With a cock. I know you can't believe I have a cock. Guaranteed, I have all my pieces there. Some guy would shout, where do you put it? I don't know, doubt. All straight guys are the same, no doubt. I say, open your mouth and I'll put it right in there. For some girl from the west side I really found my best side I'm just one masculine man in a frog 
Now that you know I hide my bits, I'm a Westy girl, no need to tip, because I've got that spark, because I've got that spark, because I've got that spark. Everyone clap now. Anyone? I need a pause from Sal with a car. Thank you very much to my audience. Anybody who is watching, thank you for coming and joining in with me. Because let's face it, who doesn't love to come on a Saturday night? Oh. Hello, Australia. Hello, world. And what it. Oh, it's over to you, is it, Steve? Have I stuffed no. that up? No. You keep going, love. Oh, sorry, Steve. You popped into my frame. Yeah. I don't like it when people pop into my <laughs> frame. Hello, Australia. Hello, world. And what a time it is to be in isolation and a time to be alive if you're under 60. And let's face it, I'm not fucking far from it. <laughs> um, do you know what? I'm glad. Thank you very much. Please give it up for our fantastic DJ Sveta. She is a Diva Award winner. Now, thank God this place is bloody empty because you know what? It fucking stinks. <laughs> and thank God, you know, I'm really missing the douse of swinks, uh, twinks in CK1. <laughs> I'm going to... Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna, we're going to stop right there. <laughs> do you know what I need? I need a line of Coke. Oh. <laughs> a cola. Okay, let's start that again. Glad you're not here because of the lack of punters, this place stinks. And I'm definitely missing the douse of young twinks doused in CK1 and the smell of amyl. This ain't going so well. Oh, but it's okay. And speaking of twinks, please give it up for Steve. <laughs> oh, look, those days are long gone, love. Those are, look, I've got my distancing stick. That's about it, really. Oh, do you know what? It's more yeah. like a failure stick for me <laughs> right now, but that's okay. It's a good stick. Do you like it? This is my I stick. I do. You know, Thanks. I've... Is that, I've never seen you a stick... You can't get any closer to me than this, right? Look, coronavirus or otherwise, I wouldn't want you this close anyway, so this is good for me. What do you hey, think? Hey, hey, hey. There we go. What, love? Hey, make sure you put a rubber on that, please. There Thank we you. go. Oh, I won't poke you too much. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a global pandemic and you can't keep a good drag queen down. <laughs> Or going down on someone, for that matter. And it definitely won't be Steve. No, I'm only joking, only joking, because we do have our socially distancing stick. Yes. And let's face it, I have cleaned my Chuck G string at least three times today. How many times you cleaned yours, Steve? I'm not wearing one. There we go. Free Listen, balling. Thank you. Listen, I think the fact we're even on air tonight uh, proves anything is actually possible. Um, we basically uh, want to let you put, we base when you put your mind to it, and that's exactly what our first guest does. So we'll be here talking to her in just a second. But let's take a look and see what she's been up to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so I thought... I should probably be a tradie because I love a sausage roll from a servo and sort of talk and do nothing. Like, that's for me. Ow. Ow. He told me to put heaps in there. Push it or not? Yes. Whoa, whoa, she's a tradie. Tanya, just do something, will you? I've got a lavender spray in the car and that will bring down the energy, I'll tell you what. Should I get that? I got a dream catcher as well. She was friggin' useless. But a nice girl. But you know, she's not a landscaper. No. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Tanya in the garden didn't really work very well. Tanya, are you there? Hello, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Hi, we can hear you. There she is. Hello, gorgeous. Oh my God, what Minnie said before, she said something like, we're just lucky to have 60 year olds alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true, Minnie, don't you think? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm 59, I'm almost there. <laughs> I loved it so much. Guys, I'm so bored. This is giving me something to do and I've put a face on for you, which is a rarity. You've put a face on. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, I'm loving the eyeshadow. How's isolation going for you? I hate it. I'm just, I'm so, I smell so bad, but no one's here, so I'm like, what of it? I feel like I'm back on I'm a Celeb, except with more food, and that's why I'm in a moo moo. <laughs> like a legitimate moo moo. Listen, tell us what we just saw then. You were basically out in the garden. You were a bit rubbish. They didn't seem to like you out there. They didn't seem to like what you were doing. What happened? 
I was landscaping. Yes. Oh, thank you. It's a series called Get a Real Job that I did for Instagram. So basically, I've never had a real job. I used to be a clown. <laughs> I've been a stilt walker. I've been, well, I've got prostitute on my CV nine times, but that's not from actually being a prostitute. It's uh, from acting as a prostitute. So I thought I'm going to give a real job a go. And so I did six different real jobs and I failed at all of them. Have you ever thought is- about being a drag queen, Tanya? <laughs> I basically am a drag <laughs> That's true, that's true. How good are you at tucking? She's a lazy one. Uh, I've got too much hair, to be honest. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Do you have to, like, just question, I've been watching season 12 today. Yes. Do you have to shave everything to gaff? Oh, yourself? absolutely. Because you don't, you know what, if you gaff, there's nothing worse. It's like an, an elastic band if you don't shave. Oh, It'll be dear. like... Bang, and it'll bounce back. I'm sure you know the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Just one like, you look confused, bad Tanya. flap. You look confused. Uh, listen, can we just say, by the way, you are our very first ever celebrity guest. So we would like to just thank you for being the first person to come on. Thank you so much. There's no one here, but we'd clap a bit if we could. Thank you so much. My Yay. pleasure. Also, thank you for calling me a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. You probably got the clap in the jungle, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I know. The whole time I was like, guys, I reckon we're throwing that word around a little bit too much, but I'll accept the money. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't we all at the moment? Um, okay. Thank literally, you so much. Literally. <laughs> literally. Anything. Um, brilliant. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been so good to have you on the show. I'd love to have you on again, obviously. So it's brilliant to have you with us. Was that fun, Manny? Oh, absolutely. Tanya, I'll give you a few makeup tips. Just we'll Skype later, okay? I need every makeup tip. Like, despite having a makeup line, this woman has no idea. Mini, let's catch up, open okay. up, kiss, whatever. This but after is, the uh, coronavirus. This is a deal. Then. I'll teach you makeup. You teach me how to tuck. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. Over to you, Minnie. Oh, thank you very much. That's all right. Not everyone is doing so well in uh, with this coronavirus stuff. It's just not mere mortals losing it. It's celebrities losing it as well. And we're going to start off with my favourite celebrity, Madonna. That's the thing about COVID-19. It doesn't care about how rich you are, how famous you are. And what's terrible about it is what's great about it. What's terrible about it is it's made us all equal in many ways. After watching that, Madonna makes me want to have a golden shower. (laughs) Next up, we have the fabulous Mariah Carey. She is one of my particular favourites. I came to work out. My teeth got me stressed out. Oh, baby, that's what's up now. Well, I'm here watching you see what's it going to be. (laughs) She's teaching us a little bit more about fisting. Thank you, Mariah. (laughs) And of course, let's not forget the incredible Cardi B. Like, come on now, let's stop playing around. Is this coronavirus shit going to be like a couple of weeks type of shit? Or is it going to be a couple of months type of shit? Let me know so I can start motherfucking racking up on foods and Montclair's so a bitch can move to motherfucking Antarctica, bitch. I love that she had rubbers on her nails. Let's face it, she's not going to be a lesbian's best friend with those nails, is she? (laughs) But anyway, with all the celebrities going mad, the only last remaining celebrity that is going to be sane is going to be me. And then we'll all be fucked, won't we? But do you know what? We've got someone very special with us tonight who knows all about celebrity. Please give it up for the incredible Justin Hill. Hello, Justin. Can you please come and save me? I need saving. I'm much better with a live audience, not a live dead audience like here. The smell of death. That is your rubbers. Have you used rubbers Thank before, you. Justin? Uh, I, I am, a, you know, I always play it safe. So Good, uh, that's you, the kind of girl you, I like. Do you want me to put these, is this my goodie bag for tonight? It, well, it depends what you put in it. <laughs> It's definitely okay. Ivan's goodie bag. Who's, uh, who's ready for a, an inspection? Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Mini, I was going to say, do you know you were one of the first drag queens that I ever saw here at Stonewall? I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a baby gay and, I, and you called me doll and I was like, oh, I feel so special. But I believe you said to me, get the out of my way, doll. And oh, I was like, oh. oh. That would be right. <laughs> that sounds about right. I'm one of those people that doesn't like to be touched. <laughs> so if you're in my way, just get the fuck out of my way. 
<laughs> so um, in the Queen calling me no, get out of my way, get absolutely. out of my way. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, we've got a lot of celebrity news for you tonight. Would you like to oh, hear uh, what I've got up my glove? Oh. <laughs> Of course I do. Who doesn't want to know what's up your glove? Well, let's start with Caitlyn Jenner. So obviously, okay. you know, Caitlyn is no stranger to uh, to reality TV. She has done Keeping Up with the Kardashians. She had two seasons of her own show, I Am Kate. And now there are very strong rumours that she could be joining The Real Housewives. What? <laughs> She uh, she said in an interview in an interview recently that she uh, watched a couple of episodes of the show and yes. was like, "It's just like sport. I could get in on that." And then put the call out to the producers. So you mark my words, this never happens just for no reason. She will be on that show before you know it. I think she it's okay for her to be on that show as long as she doesn't do car karaoke. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. 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 Too, soon? Too soon. If Too we soon. had an audience, they'd be saying, "Boo!" Thank you, Sveta. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's a CD player? I'm too young. <laughs> uh, now, obviously, we were talking about coronavirus uh, yes. earlier, and uh, the, the news out this week was that Prince Charles was actually diagnosed with coronavirus. Uh, he is 71 years old. Uh, Camilla has also been tested, but she's uh, her test came back negative. He's been working from home, keeping nice and safe. But weirdly enough, a couple of weeks ago, he actually stopped shaking people's hands at the, all the events that he was yeah, going to. He was doing to. this. He was doing him? Namaste, yes. which I think is very cool. But he got it. Anyway, cool. So, very cute. Yeah, very cool. Uh, but unfortunately, he did get he did get uh, coronavirus. But the biggest story that I have to tell you about this week is this feud that keeps rolling around between Taylor Swift, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye West. I I watched her Netflix documentary, uh, yes. and I'm a fan. I have to yeah, say yeah. that. Please continue. Well, Justin. look, okay. Let me. I'll have to break it down for you because it's kind of confusing. So back in 2016, Kanye released a song called Famous. Now in the song, he said that he and Taylor might still have sex. He also said, "I made that bitch famous." Now uh, what happened was is that Taylor came out and said, "I had no idea that he was going to say that about me." Then Kim Kardashian leaked a video, which was a phone conversation where she says Taylor agreed to it. And uh, what's happened is is that full unedited video of that phone conversation has surfaced and it shows that Taylor actually asked Kanye not to call her a bitch. He, she was like, I don't want you to do that. Like, that would be mean. And he did it anyway. Uh, and so, exactly, Kanye. So now the whole thing has resurfaced and it's going all to hell again between those two. But, you know, not to worry. And speaking of booing, because I watched Taylor's documentary and what I found, she's so I actually found her quite adorable. When the, he got up and said Beyonce had the best video, she thought everyone was booing her. I know. Isn't the poor that little just thing. the saddest thing? And like, now she's rich and famous and has lots of properties and everything's turned out all right for her. So <laughs> what's she complaining about? That's true. But you know, we all have struggles. All celebrities have struggles. Yeah. Look at me. I have my struggle. <laughs> like tonight, it is a struggle. <laughs> uh, you know, it's been a big week in uh, celebrities. We had Bindi Irwin getting married, Meghan Markle voicing her very first uh, documentary. Heaps and heaps going on. But uh, that's what I've got for you this evening. Thank you very much. And I hope you're going to come back because I feel very calm in your arms. Oh, Oh, absolutely. Even I from will, this distance. I, I will swaddle you from a distance. <laughs> and I'm sorry I was the first drag queen you ever saw. My <laughs> deepest apologies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Justin Hill. <laughs> Welcome oh, back, Steve. Oh, I like that. That was good, wasn't it? What's going on there? Uh, right, it is now time to move on, and uh, it's very exciting because we all need a helping hand uh, in the time of need. Um, and it's now time uh, for Just the Tip. I love that bit. Okay, uh, one thing we love is how inventive you lot are at home to escape the self-isolated boredom we're experiencing. Check out this gay Bry, this guy, maybe gay, Bryce, who has been cooking up a storm in his very own kitchen videos. Have a look. Day one of My Corona Kitchen. My Corona Kitchen. My Corona Kitchen, episode three. So, I just woke up, it's midday. Uh, and we're gonna have eggs and bacon. Now, the last couple of times, uh, it's not been perfect, let's be honest. Oh, fuck. This is a steamed pork bun with substitute of baked beans. Now this is how you can make Tardos Tuesday fancy. Oh. <laughs> yes. A uh, piccolini and your tureen. Gourmet dinner. For one. Enjoy.
Hung like a cucumber. Oh, I don't know, love. I mean, skip the dinner, wouldn't you? I mean, I go straight for dessert. <laughs> I bet you, Bloom and Wellwood. Uh, it looked like fun in the kitchen, though. But oh, goodness gracious, you know, not our type. But that's okay. Okay. Uh, now, this lovely guy, Brad, has been putting himself on the line like a lab rat, testing out some very interesting products. Have a look. I really want this channel to be a fun, positive place where you can just ignore all the bullshit happening in the world. <laughs> I just can't stop reading the news. Every single day, I'm on my phone reading article after article, and I saw an article that said, you might get coronavirus from rimming. <laughs> coronavirus is taking everything that we love. <laughs> but on the topic of rimming, <laughs> This entire video is about analingus. <laughs> so a lovely small queer company by the name of Studio Ready have sent me a hot coffee butt scrub, which you're meant to apply to your anus and it makes it taste and smell better, which should enhance analingus. <laughs> there is literally an apocalypse happening outside my bloody front door, but as long as I can make my butt smell good, all my problems are solved. <laughs> Massage onto your lower region for at least 30 seconds, then rinse thoroughly with warm water. Okay, and now I'm going to do just that. <laughs> so let's jump in the shower. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the dexterity to smell my own bum. So boyfriend Bo is here to give a sniff test. Yes. So you're going to smell my bum. Yay. And then you're going to let me know if it smells and tastes good. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Does it smell? Yeah. Oh. It doesn't smell like coffee, though. Does it smell like fresh cinnamon pastries? Yeah. Mm. Would that entice you to perform more analingus on um, your Absolutely. Spouse? That smells delicious. Okay, well, we might do some more testing off camera. Oh, my gosh. Did coffee. it, smell, did it smell like coffee? I thought it smelled like shit. <laughs> would you want coffee down there? Would you want, I would, maybe some vanilla or chocolate or, you know, tiramisu. I don't know about... <laughs> oh, that's Coffee. giving away too many secrets. I can't go there. Oh, I don't know. I mean, really? Is your ass, how's your ass tonight, Minnie? Well, um, <laughs> I'm definitely smiling. That's because I've got a good nine and a half inches up there. <laughs> oh, wow. You're loving it, love. You're loving it. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Thanks for that, guys. Uh, now, listen, even celebs are getting in uh, on the action. So, uh, we have decided... Uh, that we would like to reach out to some of the celebs out there and find out how they're getting through their isolation survival tips. And this is what we found out. Uh, joining us tonight are the winners of the amazing race Australia. Yeah. It's the gorgeous Tim and Rod. Hey. Hey, guys. hey guys, how are you going? Hi guys, this is like soft porn for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much hey guys for having us, we're so pumped. It's so good to see you guys, and obviously you look, you're looking so fit, you're doing so well. You know, what's happening for you two in isolation? Well, you know what, there's not that much to do, so let's just say our cardio game is on point at the moment. <laughs> is that what they're calling it these days? <laughs> we're we're it? pretty much, we're not going to lie, we're losing our minds, we're going crazy, but we're doing a little bit of day drinking, a little bit of working out, just trying to keep it nice and balanced. Um, you guys are doing loads of videos. I'm seeing you guys doing lots and lots of Instagram stuff, which people are loving. I mean, come on, it's so difficult to not work out. You know, if you go to the gym, it's much, much easier. How do you guys get any motivation to do it? Honestly, it just, we go absolutely insane if we don't get a workout in each day. Like, oh. for us, like, it's, it's literally, like, what we need to do. Otherwise, we just simply don't function. We don't function at the best of times. That's like me and drag. To the gym. So we've been trying to motiv motivate each other. We get up each morning and have, like, three coffees each, and then we just do whatever we can do within our own house. So it's lounge room, bedroom, bathroom. Let's see, Benny. Let's get an example. The, the Is this one going to be in the bedroom? We do, we're doing it. We're just going to... We're just going to try our best. Otherwise, we're, we're all just going to lose our mind. Going mad, right? Just going crazy. Okay. <laughs> Guys, can you give us a bit of a fitness example? Can we see you do your thing? I know everyone wants to see it anyway. Maybe with the yeah, shirts. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We're just going to quickly move the lounge. One sec. Oh, okay. You could have got prepared. Oh, they double as removalists. You know? Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I, am, I can't <laughs> wait to re-watch this when I'm home alone. Oh, I like this. I like your plant. <laughs> Nice. So guys, we put up, we put five workouts. We're gonna do couples nights. So if you got someone special at home, you gotta work out with your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, your brother, your sister, your mum, your dad, whoever you've got. Okay. Exercise number one. We're gonna do okay, squat gonna leg this. raises. All right, here so she goes. So these ones are pretty gnarly. We're just gonna tilt the camera down, so we're gonna get on the ground. So first person's down their back, legs up in the air. <laughs> legs in the air, <laughs> so, man. That's all I heard. All right. Oh yes. So person at the top. 
Make sure you've got your undies on. That's a, that's your first point. You to <laughs> come down for a nice deep squat. Oh yes! Oh raise. yes! They need that. Oh, yeah. We just saw. Leg raise. So make sure your partner's wearing that. Number two. Oh. I call these ones smoochy sit ups. Yeah. Alright. So you want to get legs in nice and close. And then we come down. Reach in. Oh, yes. Come up. Oh, that you pump in about 200 of those. 200. 200. Are you kidding Number me? Number three. This one's pretty hard. I'm going to pivot this up a little bit. Okay. This one's pretty tricky. This one's called the squat sit up. This one's heavy, so you want to find your partner, you're going to wrap your legs around his waist, or her waist, and then your partner's going to do a pretty, a nice deep squat. Okay. You're going to squat down nice and low. <laughs> squat, and now there's a sit up. And then person number two is going to sit up. <laughs> Brilliant. So you're going to do about probably 10 of those. 10? Lucky last, we've got our knee dips. Oh, sorry, second one. Yeah. What's that? No, t t just keep going. That's keep fine. going. Keep we're going. loving it. We're all good. We're, all good. <laughs> we're already out of breath. So, our fourth one, we're going to need this. All right. So, one person at the back, you're going to come down into a squat. <laughs> <laughs> no person. Is this is great. Comes right in front, and it's a tricep dip. So, I'm just going to oh, dip my ass down. I want to levitate my ass off the ground. Ooh. And oh. push up with those arms. Oh. Get that ass nice and close to the ground. Oh. Nice. Extend oh. of the arms back up. Sorry. Lucky laugh. That, that's this pretty one amazing. Is the hardest one. Oh, okay, Number one four. more. Oh, we're out of time. We're, we're out of time. Look. Guys, we're running out of time. I'm so, so sorry. On that? Oh, <laughs> we're running out of Minnie's going to slide off a chair in a minute. Just um, one <laughs> thing before I, congratulations on your one year anniversary yes. as yeah. well. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you so much, guys. It so was... good to see you guys. That's, that's, that's some pretty good workout stuff there. That's very good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can I just say my nine and a half inches just went to ten and a half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to cheers, see guys. real live versions, check out our Instagram. Check TV. out their Instagram. Oh, my God, absolutely. Your Instagram stuff. is full of great stuff. Go to their Instagram. You'll absolutely love it. Thank you, guys. So good to see them. Isn't it Fair so enough. nice to see a couple together, look, hanging out, having so much fun together? Oh, absolutely. I could watch that for hours and hours yeah. and hours. It makes me think, obviously, there must be a lot of couples at home at the moment. And, you know, this actually means that maybe boyfriends have to have sex with each other for a change. That could be a fun no Maybe. novel thing. that's the case. Anyway, uh, look, it's the time of the night where I think we need to check in with the DJ. What do you reckon? Should we check in with DJ Spetta? Woo! Cheers. Check in with DJ Spetta. Thank you. award winner. Only real woman to win that award. Yeah, baby. We love it. Well, you, guys, uh, you guys are doing a great job. But, oh, thank you. Uh, but I just wanted to tuck in you up with a bit of Soviet realness. So I've got some um, hand sanitizer here. Thank yep. you. Could you um, just give me a squirt? Well, give us a squirt. Not too over. close. Mind you, stick. If you could bend over, this is from Soviet realness. Okay, down the stick it goes. Down the stick it down goes. The stick, love. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Mind the stick. Social distancing, keep your distance. There we go. Okay. From a distance, From a my stick <laughs> looks pink and green. Right, guys, our next bit you're going to absolutely love because uh, we're now going to be heading south and we're going to be lowering the tone even more to chat <laughs> with someone who's not only taken America by storm, who has just won the best cabaret at the Adelaide Fringe Festival uh, for the second year running. It's international superstar and sex symbol, Hans. Woo! I feel alive when I wrap you on writing on these keys I can do no wrong Since the day I saw you cross the crowded store I've had the urge to sneak you at the back door caress you Maya 
Oh my god, we loved it. You look amazing, I have to say. Mimi, I have to say, you two, at least two of us have put in a bit of effort for tonight, darling. Oh, I know. What have you come as? Oh, I can't. You know what? Just, Just because sure. of lockdown, you don't have to dress like you're dying, honey. <laughs> my god. <laughs> That's a good point. I do feel very underdressed next to you two. You look both look fabulous. <laughs> I, well, Steve, if you, you want a little more underdressed, we can arrange that as well. <laughs> Hans, you give me life. I love that you tap dance because I love a bit of tap dancing myself. Are you a hoofer as well, Minnie? Yeah, a hoofer and a poofter. <laughs> I see what you did there. The alliteration. Beautiful. Hans, what's on in the background there? What are you, what are you, what are you watching? Steve, I'm glad you've asked me, darling. Um, this is how I spend most Saturday nights in lockdown. I am Googling myself. Yeah. Um, I'm just watching a stream of myself on the television. Um, of course, I can't do it for any more than 15 minutes. <laughs> Otherwise, I will go blind. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's good to see you in person and you behind watching yourself. We all do that. We all look at ourselves online, which is good. Um, listen, how are you getting on with this lockdown carry-on? What are you doing to keep yourself busy? Steve, I'm glad you've asked me, darlings. Look, I'm spending this time to really work on myself. I'm, I'm developing myself spiritually, mentally. I'm making sure all my chakras are open. <laughs> and apart from that, I'm just panic eating and playing a lot of Nintendo. Oh, that sounds good. Many would like that, wouldn't we? I love a bit of panic eating. And can I just say, I'll be getting on my accordion later because I'll be getting back onto Tim and Rob's Instagram. <laughs> playing my accordion. Hey, oh, my God. Mimi, you better not steal my act, bitch. Otherwise, no, I couldn't possibly. There is that. only one heart. Coronavirus is the least of your worries, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we really haven't dressed. I really haven't dressed. I'm really. I'm feeling bad now, Hans. You made me feel like I'm not dressed enough. I'm not dressed up. I look awful. Steve, do not feel bad. Steve, it's always nice to have something to work towards. I mean, <laughs> you know, pity me. I'm the one you should feel sorry for. I've got nothing to improve on. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Well, I thought yeah. you... Are you in Adelaide? Where are you? <laughs> I, am, I am in Adelaide. I wanted, I wanted to go back home to Berlin, yes. but they said, no, the borders are shut, so I am here... In, well, I've, I've had this, it's an Airbnb. I've had it for the last um, 35 years. Um, but <laughs> it's beautiful. It almost feels like home. And Hans, can I ask you, how was your relationship with Simon Cowell? Well, I mean, does he call? Look, does he text? You know, many. Love comes around when you least expect it. That's <laughs> what they always say. Um, <laughs> He really did not expect it or, or welcome it. Uh, um, but, you know, I think, I think it's a little bit ice queen and then he's into me. You know, we've all met men like that. Fickle. Yeah, yeah. Fickle playing hard to get. Yes, you know, you know, so I, I mean, 
He, you know, he buzzes me, then he loves me, then he buzzes me. I know he'll be calling back again. I mean, um, what can I say? And like any desperado, yeah, <laughs> I'll be there to answer the call. Yes. Um, okay, Hans, thank you so much. We've, we've loved having you on here. We loved your video, Oxygen. It's just so good. I mean, it's just is, fantastic. It's so it, catchy. We love is, it. Is that it? Oh, we do it. oh my God, I only did this show because they told me Danny Minogue would be here. For God's <laughs> sake, Nick, go back to the other non-entities you've got on there. The only one I knew tonight was Rhonda Birchmore. Have a great <laughs> night. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Hans. Thank you, Hans. We love the honesty. Uh, lovely Hans there, uh, looking gorgeous and being real. I mean, look at what I'm wearing. I need to get myself sorted. Right. Do you know what? I think it's almost time for a drink, don't oh, you? I, I tell need you what, a, I can can I just drink. say, I need a fucking stiff one. I need a stiff one. I really need a stiff one. Oh. Uh, who doesn't? <laughs> Make it a stiff one. Uh, how are you doing, Ivan, over there? Oh. Oh, dear. Washing my What's he doing? Hang on. Ah, <laughs> busting his hands. Yeah. Hang on. Oh dear. Okay. What are you doing, Ivan? You're washing his hands. You've got a studio audience there, Ivan. Goodness gracious. Oh, you're washing your hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I Justin, see. Yes, Justin, oh, you look okay. like you've got a really good view there. I really do, and these yeah. gloves are giving me lots of protection, which is great. So oh my gosh. Maybe oh. Could, if we didn't have the social distancing, you could have helped him out with cleaning his hands. <gasps> oh yes. What did my boyfriend say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, my boyfriend, uh, uh, look, my boyfriend's oh. Yvonne. Oh, I was yeah. just walking by, and there he is. Oh, my God, true love. <laughs> the thirsty Richard Reed. <laughs> what, are they, what, are those, what are they drinking, by the way? Look at those red drinks. Goodness gracious. Okay, look, speaking of keeping things clean, guys, uh, social distancing is definitely proving harder for some rather than others. Uh, a bit like Chris Crocker. Uh, Chris Crocker, of course, uh, did something quite interesting. Are we ready to cue that up? I think we might be. Like when I'm look. on the brink of crying, I try to remind myself, it's okay not to have a dick inside of me right now. Because I have had one inside of me before and I will have one again. Well, he said it. He said it. Thank you, Chris. Uh, you will, Chris. Don't worry. You will. Now, by the way, Chris, you know, Pornhub are giving away free premium subscriptions right now. <laughs> that gets everyone's attention. I've oh, already yes, subscribed. Does. Look, it's okay. You can touch yourself. There we go. That's their slogan. I absolutely love it. Uh, well done, Pornhub. And if you know what, I think we should do something for you guys too. How about a bag full of Swiss Navy lube to go with your free porn? I think you'll love that. Oh. If you want to be one of our lucky 10 winners, post a pic of you um, with your uh, post a pic of you uh, watching us, showing us the hashtag Stonewall Live, and we'll reveal the winners next week. Uh, brilliant. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, we're going to do that next week. So basically, uh, post the picture, uh, and we're going to do that. Right. I think we're going to do Rhonda now, aren't we? Rhonda Birchmore is ready, people. We've, uh, we've got to mix things around. I love a live show Hello, like this. Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. The Hello. bitch stole my look. <laughs> look, I've gone to some effort. You look absolutely amazing, Rhonda. <laughs> I feel like I'm oh, looking in a mirror. Me. Look, I, I thought, you know, there's, you know, I've got all those costumes in the closet and I thought, you know, the debut show, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get in a bit of, you know, sparkle and bling for you tonight, darling. At this, and all, our, all my friends up there at the Stonewall. Can you tell me the name of your two dogs? Because I've got a few what? bitches that I know as well, but I'd prefer to know yours. Well, I thought it was a <laughs> couple of coats and then they moved. <laughs> <laughs> This is Zorro, and he's just recently had a little operation on his paw. Oh. And he's a bit of a... He's, uh, this is Zorro the Magnificent, and this is Bonnie. They're beautiful oh. standard poodles. Oh, they are absolute. They're like a pair of earrings, really, aren't they? <laughs> oh, I know. They've got their bling on. They've got their bling on. Look, they've got their bling, their little bling collars. And, yeah, they love a bit of camera, just like Mummy. And Rhonda, we were talking the other day and I am obsessed with Barbie. And you told me you have the most incredible oh. Barbie collection. Can you, you, show, can you yeah. show me the Bob Mackie one that you were talking about? I'm really intrigued. Well, I've got about 360 Barbies. I used to blame my <laughs> daughter, Lexi, um, you know, why I was collecting them. And I, I thought, oh, this one reminds me of you. Wait on, where is she? Where is look, she? Look at this one. I reckon this is, um, I don't know, can you see that? Oh, yeah, she that is definitely old. me. That was I a can, diva look yeah, three years ago. Wow. I don't think it's evil the, enough. The looking. Bob Mackies. And, oh. and then I've got, I've got my own, when I did Mamma Mia, look, look. My own personalised oh super my trooper. Oh, my God. I want to have a Barbie. Did they actually make that for you, Rhonda? 
Yeah, Mattel did that for oh, me. Oh, do you know what? I couldn't love you any more. I know, great. but um, yeah, it's it's my little distraction, you know. Um, as I said, you know, I've got three hundred and sixty, and and still. Uh, apparently they're not worth that much <clears throat> if you take them out of the box. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I don't care what uses it, having something in a box and not using it, I say, Minnie. Well, well Rhonda, <laughs> I'm not worth much either. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. You are. You're magnificent. So, Rhonda, could you do me a little favour? Do you have a share one there? I, actually, I just happen to have it. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just happen to have it. Oh, I do. Brilliant. Look. If I could turn back time. <laughs> whoa, yes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Could you, Rhonda, yes, before you go, could you do me a little favour and do a share song with your share doll? That would ma be the gayest oh, yeah. thing I um, could have this Christmas. Yeah, we need that. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, what, what, um, I've got you, babe. No, what, no, what, what, what we do? If I could turn back time, time if I could find, find a way, way. I'd take back all those things that hurt me. Uh, oh, the dogs are starting to run away, and what? you'd stay. <laughs> I don't know why I did the things I did. <laughs> I don't know why I said the things I said. I think that's quite enough. I think oh, Trevor actually great. does a much better impersonation. Rhonda, can I just say... If we had an audience, they'd cheer, but we've got no one here. But there we go. One thing before, oh, before oh, I go, Rhonda, one thing. One thing before I go, Rhonda, never give me your address because there'll be no more Barbies left in your house. <laughs> there we go. I know, and I've got the original um, paint, uh, like sketches from Bob Mackie on a, on a couple of them too. So, yeah, it's my little private little collection, my, my private little... Uh, thing that I love to do. And, My uh, private yeah. collection Rhonda. is just 10-inch dildos, Rhonda, yeah. but see you later. Thank you, Rhonda. Uh, look, and God bless to all, all your lovely listeners and watchers. Oh, love you, you all. Thank Bye. you. Thank Bye, you, Rhonda. Rhonda. Love you oh, and love your dogs. I love her dolls. I hope those dogs are all right. They look a bit sedated to me. A little bit limp on either side. I hope they're okay. Okay, uh, it's now time to take a look at our top movie picks of the week. Uh, thanks to our friends at Queer Screen. So helping you to discover the best films, you discover the best films that you can watch right now in the sanitised comfort of your own home. Uh, first up, it's Any Day Now, starring Alan Cummings. As a struggling drag performer, and after he takes home Paul, who's a closeted lawyer, Rudy finds that his neighbour has abandoned his 14-year-old son with Down syndrome, Marco. Now, as Rudy and Paul begin their relationship. They take Marco into their home and provide a loving family that he's never had before. It is a beautiful film. Have a look. Absolutely love this film. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's 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 inspiring, it's exciting, it's funny, but it's also very, very sad. I mean, set in the, in the late 1970s, you know, a gay man that wants to adopt a, a Down syndrome child, you're up against all sorts of battles and problems. You can imagine how difficult it was, and you can imagine... You know, the authorities, you know, you know, we've got problems these days, let alone back in the, those days. So very, very thought provoking, incredibly sad, but highly recommended. Have your tissues. Not for that reason, for another reason to watch that film. Now, next up, it's Girls Lost. Now, this Swedish film uh, is a mysterious coming-of-age story. Basically, when Kim, Momo, and Bella, three friends who are bullied relentlessly at their high school, uh, drink the, it's the, um, the magic sap um, of, uh, of a flower in a greenhouse, they are given the bodies of cisgender men for the night. Now, the film touches on sexism, sexual awakenings, internalized homophobia, and gender dysphoria. Ooh, try saying that after a couple of gins. Uh, it is incredible have a look okay. it is an incredible film and there is so much going on there you've basically got these three girls that obviously can then transform into boys um, and one thing that you notice is that uh, you've got the younger kids both men and uh, girls and boys having a fight with their sexuality and trying to work out with a coming of age whether they're gay or straight or otherwise and then you've got a situation where there's a bit of a trans situation going on where one of the girls turns into a boy and then realizes that that is where she's happier um, so it really is a film that does get you excited again it's very very happy at times it's also incredible incredibly sad and I highly recommend it because it's something that explains the situation that I think a lot of trans and gay and lesbian people go through who they might not explain. It actually transforms it really, really well. I couldn't um, explain exactly how it works in that sense, which is why the film does it so well. Now, if you want to find out more about those, go to queerscreen.org.au to find out more and they can help you. Uh, we're now going to move on to... Rhonda, I believe. Is Rhonda? No, we're not. No, we've had Rhonda. We've had Rhonda. Yeah, she's Sorry, delicious. Sorry, Rhonda's done. Um, Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte, that's good. Thank you, AutoQ. Uh, so basically, uh, the borders might be closed, uh, the flights might be grounded, uh, but that doesn't stop 
Olympus from being able to bring us those. Here she is, the global superstar. She in her pyjamas, everyone. Charlotte Crosby, hello. How amazing do you <laughs> look, Charlotte? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Have you had a few vodkas? <laughs> it's the morning in the UK. Oh, is it okay? It's bloody morning. Vodkas, <laughs> Jesus. I'm in pyjamas. I'm still in bed, look. And you know what? I, I like the mystery of it because have I got pants on or have I not? <laughs> Nobody knows. No one will know. Will we find out before the end? Oh, maybe we will. Oh, I don't know. I might get a bum cheek out. <laughs> uh, so you know, uh, you know uh, Rhonda and Tanya, who are also on the show, right? Of course you do. Oh, of course. I was in the jungle with them. How was that? Tell us. Oh, the jungle was hard. But the craziest thing is how it is. That we were isolated in one place for the whole of January, right? And I thought, I, w I got out of there and I thought, thank God that's over. <laughs> like, now I can just roam the world, be free. Nope. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> we're all back in isolation. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you can get through a whole bunch of Aussies in the jungle, this must be a walk in the park, surely. You would think that, right? You would think. I, I was thinking this the other day. I thought, but we're in there. We had no makeup. We had no phones. We had no food. So surely I should be grateful. Like, I should be so grateful. I've got a beautiful house. I'm with my family. I've got food. I've, but I just can't seem to be grateful. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to get on a flight and just... Just travel. <laughs> but I don't think anyone's going to be doing that for a long time. Oh, gosh. No, look at your face. You, you, you seem really sad. You'll be okay. It'll be all right. <laughs> it will. It'll be all right. They said we're, we're going to get through it together. And I, as a nation, England's come together so well. Like, it's been incredible here to see the community spirit. It's just, it's ridiculous. It, it makes you feel quite emotional. It does. It does. It really does. I mean, Charlotte, this time, uh, you know, when you have to be at home and you can't do much, what, what are you doing? What's, get, what's getting you through the days? Oh, well, there's been a lot of masturbation. <laughs> you and me both, Charlotte. <laughs> I mean, I can't even deny it. No. I've got about five vibrators in my drawer and I've run the batteries out on every single one of them. I bet yours aren't bigger than mine, though. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> well, there's a, maybe there's your next show. Maybe that could be your next show. We could do a reality show on that. I don't know. How big is your vibrator? Oh, Jesus. How big is your vag? <laughs> it is the morning in the UK, but maybe Charlotte is trying. Who uh, knows? When was the last time you had morning, a drink, Charlotte? It's morning. It's morning. We're all We don't know what time it is here. You're all delirious. Jesus. We don't know whether it's morning, night or noon. Listen, Charlotte, how are you coping, you know, with everything going on? You can't travel, you know, you can't go and do everything that you want to do. Obviously, you're bored and you're masturbating, which is fantastic. But what else are you doing? <laughs> so, right, okay, what else am I doing? So, I've been trying to do some exercise because it keeps you, yes. keeps you, it keeps your mental state really well. You're releasing them happy endorphins and, like, do you know what? It really does make you feel better. Masturbating so I've been running up and down the well. garden. I've got a hill. <laughs> I've got a hill like that. I've been doing hill sprints. A hill that does what? Say that again. You've got a hill. What do you do up your hill? I've, hill sprints going up and, up and down, oh up and God. down, hill well sprints. Well done. That's good for your butt. That gets you a good butt, doesn't it? That's what you want. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, Charlotte. That is what I need in this time. <laughs> Well, you know what? You must miss Australia. I mean, obviously, we're very, very far away. You can't come here because otherwise we're in quarantine for two weeks. But, you know, you'll have to come visit us again sometime. Oh, my God. I can't wait to come back. I was meant to be coming back in April, but obviously that's had to be cancelled. Um, I cannot wait to come back. And, you know, next time I come back, I don't think I'm going to leave. Because oh. if I hadn't left last time, I would be in isolation in Australia. And, I mean, you can't go wrong, really, can you? No. It's all good fun here. Well, within reason. Could, we'll look after you, wouldn't Minnie? But at least you're not going to get thrushed now. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I rarely get thrushed. I'm quite lucky. I'm more of a cystitis kind of girl. <laughs> Aren't we all? Um, listen, thank you so much for coming on. It's so good that you come all the way from the UK and speak to us. It's great to see you. You look fantastic. Um, and uh, everyone that's watching is loving seeing you too. <laughs> Australia loves you. I okay, love you, Okay, thank Charlotte. you so much, guys. Have a lovely... Have a lovely night.
Enjoy your vibrators. Yeah. Enjoy. Have, have a go with two. Oh, bless her. Okay, listen, let's go back to the bar uh, and see what's happening over there because I think you guys are enjoying that as well. You guys having fun? Wow. Oh. You know what? I actually found Minnie's drag bag before. I've been going through it. My God, you should see what's in that thing. Oh, don't. Don't turn it on. Don't turn it on. Oh, it's been oh buzzing God. and it actually moved across the floor into the, into the bar. Uh, excuse so. me. That was my bag. <laughs> exactly. Be careful. Look, I can promise you right now. Be careful whose bags you're looking through. Oh guys. my god. Oh, I gotta tell you that Charlotte Crosby. She was so good. Yeah. And I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. And I can guarantee you, she's got no gag reflex oh. at <laughs> all. And I don't think Rhonda does either. There you go. Mm. You, you all have that in common. Yeah. Mm. Avon, would you like to step in at this point? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, done. perfect. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you. Back to your uh, your quarantinis. Enjoy. I'm really desperate. I would like one of those. Okay. Uh, now, a bit on a serious note, guys. Each week, we want to shine a light on some important issues in the community. Now, many people often feel invisible, and many of us are now isolated more than ever. So, important to know there are places you can reach out and talk if you need to. It's now time for the community spotlight. Uh, and <laughs> Now, this week, we kick things off with Chris James from the gaycitycouncillor.org.au, who's going to speak to us today. Chris, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. It's really good to have you uh, on the show. And like, we had a lot of fun tonight, and we we're obviously joking around, which is great. We need a bit of relief from everything that's going on. But mental health is something that we can all adhere to and understand, and it affects other people a lot more, especially at the moment. Yeah, definitely. We're finding that uh, the isolation, the people losing their jobs, people uh, fear of what's going to be happening, anxiety levels are at a much higher level than they ever have been. So it's about trying to look after ourselves, look after our community, look after our family. Really important at this moment. And what kind of things would you uh, maybe say to our viewers that are watching that you know, are maybe feeling a bit anxious? Uh, one thing that I've kind of identified with is I kind of think it's happening to everyone. When we're not alone, but you yeah. still sometimes feel alone. Yeah, definitely. We, start, we need to think about the things that we can control and things that we can't control. Okay. So we can't control how, how, uh, how other people are reacting. We can't control how long this is gonna go on for. We can't control what people are posting on social media, but we can control how much we use social media. We can control how much we watch the news. We can control our own physical distancing. So those are things that we really need to focus on. Um, having a routine, so many people's routine is completely thrown out at the moment. People have lost their jobs, people, um, are working from home, so getting up at the same time each day, having those routines in place are really important. I know that uh, lots of gyms have been closed, exercise has been a real issue for some people, but we can do so much of that stuff from home. YouTube, there's so many apps, there's the Nike training app, there's the Chris Hemsworth app, which is free for six weeks. And Sounds nice. I don't know, I don't mind watching Chris <laughs> no, Hemsworth whilst I'm exercising that. at home. Yes. Um, so keeping those things up are really important, meditation, mindfulness and yoga. But also it's about trying to use technology creatively. So I know that um, you know, a way of connecting for some people is, you know, sex is really important for people. And mm. that's something with the physical distancing that we're now having to really think about what we need to do about that. And so it's time to maybe get a bit creative with our sexual practices and yeah. maybe enjoy some solo time, maybe use some tech in order to have a bit of fun. Yes. And also, but in a safe way. Um, and you know, one of the you know, with technology, we're so we're so blessed with the technology we've got these days. I know lots of people have been using the house party app recently, which yes. is where you, know, you can have up to eight people we're having a bit of a house party. Um, you can play uh, heads up trivia games that are all built, built in and part of it. Um, you can do virtual pub quizzes with friends, imagining that you're here. Do some fancy dress dress ups. We can still have fun. We need to think about what things bring us fun, which things bring us joy. And remember that we can do that still from the comfort of our own living room. I guess it's finding a balance, isn't it? So using the, the social networks that we've got, you know, to keep in touch with people and to connect, but maybe not to literally scroll through everyone's panicky problems about what's going on with the coronavirus, because I found myself watching too much news and obviously just getting myself into, you know, a frenzy of scared and worry because of the news channels doing what they're doing. Obviously, you need to keep up to date, but maybe you should put that off. And I don't know, read a book, you know, yeah. Ooh, yeah. doing yeah. something that's a little bit different because yeah. you've got more time on your hands. Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, the fact that there is all this more anxiety going on in the world at the moment and there's lots of fear, one of the things I've noticed is that people have actually started slowing down mm. because people have more time. People are actually having more time to make that phone call for an hour or to have that video call. People are starting new hobbies. I've had loads of people talk about and loads of clients talk about, oh, I'm gonna finally start learning that language that I wanted to yes. do. Or I'm gonna start learning origami or I'm gonna start doing this. There's so many YouTube clips and so many things that are out there. We need to start thinking about what things we can do 
that we can still enjoy and and still keep learning. One thing I thought about doing, obviously, is maybe turning this as much as you can into a positive. So obviously, one thing you can do is dwell on the fact you can't leave the home or you can't go to work or you've lost your job or whatever else. But maybe at the moment, um, most of the world are experiencing time alone or in a moment where you can't do much. Maybe spin it around and do some me time or some connection with partners and friends and family members, even if it's FaceTime and chatting. Yeah. Uh, but doing that more, because yeah. in the past, before this all kicked off, there was no time. You couldn't do it. I was so yeah. stressed. It was so busy that's all gone now so maybe yeah. spin it around what do you think yeah. totally and that's a technique that we use mm. in therapy you know that idea of reframing so mm. we want to try and you know we're in this bad situation but we can see the positives out of this and you know, some of the great things that I've seen happening even just in my building the amount of people who've been offering help to go and get groceries for people helping people out it's just we can we can see the positives it's bringing the community together and yes I guess something you know this COVID-19 virus mm. it's it has, no, it has no boundaries. It doesn't matter what race you are, gender, sexuality, age, social class. It's affecting, affecting everyone. everyone. And that, in a way, kind of is, is a good thing to remember. I think it makes us all feel a bit better. Yeah. So, again, it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what sexuality you are. We are all affected by this. And, you know, the best way to get through it is to look after yourself, first and foremost, Definitely. and then others around you. Thank you so much. Um, it's, it's, it's been so good to have you on. Uh, and it's so good to talk to you today. It's really important to do this. Now, you can get more information at the Gay Sydney Council, uh, councillor.org.au. And at, of course, we are donating 10% of tonight's donations uh, to an incredible mental health charity, 2010.org.au. So, guys, uh, remember, look out for each other, uh, keep checking in on your friends and family, and stay connected as best as you can. Uh, okay, we're going to go over to the bar again now because that's obviously the favourite place for everyone. Uh, let's have a look and see what's happening because, oh, hello, selfie time. Rick Richards oh. are in selfies. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they're so well lit. A friend of mine actually just messaged me and asked if Chris was single. So oh. I just wanted to uh, pass oh. that along. I'm doing my bit, you know, isolation relationships. Well, we, we need to find out. You <laughs> yeah, know no. That could be a Again, <laughs> Justin, that was me. That was you. Yeah. I'm right here. Wow, He's right here. Chris. This bar, <laughs> I tell you what. And I just want to say, Yvonne is a model. <laughs> <laughs> what was my first guess? I don't know. I want to do laundry on those apps. Right. I know right? I have to sit here and listen to that. It's been interesting. It's a tough gig, guys. Thank you so much. They're having so much fun in the bar. Okay, guys, now to finish things off, uh, so to speak, with a bang. Uh, well, the only way she knows how and the only way she's going to do it right now is with Minnie's Happy Ending. If you've seen a show, then you already know how magical a drag show can be. It's ours, a very flamboyant queen's lip syncing all of the hits of Celine. But this song goes out to the rest of you, those who've never gone gay clubbing before. Cause drag shows have never been broader. It's not just for gays anymore. If you feel like someone that this world excludes It's no longer only for dudes that like dudes Attention every breeder, you're invited, bring your mother It's not just for gays anymore The glamour of drag shows is beckoning straights For people who marry in all of our states We're asking every hetero to get to know us better Oh, it's not just for gays anymore it's for blind, upstanding Christians who know all the songs from Greece. It's for sober-minded businessmen who yearn for some release. So put down your Playboy and go make a plan. You might even pick up a hot muscling man. There's so much to discover with your different dead lover. It's not just for gays, the gays and lesbos. As an informato town you have to amuse And even running quarantine they don't have a few And even for the tourists and the geeks of senior citizens And well-to-do suburbanites and people that like musicals Though that group is really only full of homosexuals Lost my train of thought, oh yeah, it's not just for gays anymore Can I say that's the biggest mouthful I've had all week but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Hopefully next week will be much better, but I'm used to failure, just ask my mother. Thank you very much. We've got swarms of sequin feather boas, dancing boys in tight buns. 
costume change for every number budget, frankly none. So people from all states and territories too, a big plan, a rainbow is coming for you. Come in and be inspired, there's no sodomy required. Proud to have you if you go both ways. Drag shows are not just for gays anymore. Thank you so much, Australia. You've been amazing, and so have I. Thank you. And please welcome back my co host, Steve. Well done. Well done, my I'd love to give you a paddle, but you I need to give you a paddle. I came on a bit earlier, a bit, bit, bit premature early. I do apologise. I'm used to having like cordless interrupters. <laughs> uh, listen, you need one of these fabulous Red Bulls because they're obviously full of sugar uh, and they're always good fun. Now, listen, how good would it... Here we go, look. Yeah, sorry, I didn't realise I was on camera then. Hi, there mom. we go. <laughs> You're on camera. Uh, how good would it be to share one of these with the audience? Well, let's get our friends at Red Bull to send our lovely viewers, that's you, a party pack to enjoy while they watch next week's show. What do you think, Minnie? Absolutely. Who doesn't love a party pack? Yeah, I love a party pack. Okay. Except when you're... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Except when you're stuck in line at Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is what we're going to do. Uh, next week, we're going to do a competition. Woo! The first 100 people to sign up to the link on our socials will receive an ultimate party pack, including a case of Red Bull. Yay! Keep an eye on the Stonewall social media for more details. Okay, uh, guys, that is towards the end of the show. So thank you so much for watching. It means the world to us. Thank you to the Stonewall Hotel for letting us ransack the place. A uh, huge thanks to our amazing guests. Thanks to our sexy barman, Ivan. And, the, and we've got the boys there as well. Thank you, guys. Thank um, you, Justin. Love you. And thank you to Pandemic for keeping the house very, very clean. Thanks to our in-house DJ Sveta. Thank you, DJ Sveta. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank PayPal, you so much. PayPal, me, yes. DJ Sveta. I'm unemployed. There we go. We all need money, right. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and find out who your community heroes are. Uh, we want to have your fun content and even uh, we want you to nominate uh, for someone to be surprised next week. So just email us, take part at stonewell.live. Now we'll be back next week with more amazing guests, including comedy queen of the bush, uh, Nikki Osborne, Aussie pop icon, Melissa Chukats, entertainment reporter extraordinaire, Richard Reed. is over here, you're a week early. Um, and award-winning actress and theater star, Lara McCulley, plus the superstar, DJ of the week is the king of morning glory, Richie, James Alexander. Richard, do you always come early? Oh, <laughs> and I stay late if you know what I mean. Oh, Rare, it's Richard. all happening here. Okay, see you next week, 8 p.m. at stonewell.live. Woo! Yay!